YouTube. <laughs> oh God, YouTube. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this video for the second time. Because it stopped at two minutes and something just a minute ago, so I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, we'll try to get this video done. Right. Yesterday I was trying to make a video for uh, MC361. He's having a contest for his three years. He's been on YouTube three years making comedy videos, so congratulations, Brian. It's, it's a better three years in this community with you in it. Um, so, before I get into his contest, and I apologize, Brian, to, to lump all this in there with your contest, you shouldn't have to sit through. This is, this is your moment. So, <laughs> I just want to say about my video yesterday, I appreciate all your guys' comments, honestly. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dark time right now, and you get about, <laughs> you, you get quite a few shots in you, and I'm not going to say how many shots, but, uh, count, count of a fifth of vodka and leave out about six shots, and that's about how many it was. So, um, so, didn't mean for all that to come out on film, got a little angry and upset, um, didn't know or remember when I went to sleep and I woke up to the pregnant girl in the story called me and she's like, I saw your video and I'm like, oh god, I made a video last night, so yeah, but you know, I was kind of afraid to face the comments so when I went to look at the comments, I was like, you know what nobody's cussing me out nobody's, you know and I, I know I use some harsh language and I totally apologize about that um, I, I, even though I don't like the lady and, and the guy managers that kept me from getting my job back. I, I shouldn't use that language with those. You know, it's it's making me as bad as them by, by doing that. Um, they're dirt balls. That's not bad. That's not bad language, but they are dirt balls. So uh, I apologize for using certain words. And but I mean, it brought out people who haven't commented on my videos. So I didn't know even still watch my videos. Um, people were commenting. I mean, I've got so many comments. I think it's almost at least 250 views in a day. I don't know how words spread that fast, but holy cow. <laughs> um, and, well, I also post on my Facebook. And, and so some people that weren't comment community. I had people calling me and commenting, friends and stuff, too. Uh, some of the people involved commented, saying, yeah, you know. So I thank you guys, and I apologize for posting that I I don't like doing that. I don't like I can't say I don't like bringing the trash on here. I, I think that's what makes this community so awesome is we can bring our problems to each other and we will get an ear to listen and trust me I need it. I need I, I, I do need it. Um because the shit ain't over. But uh I'll try not to post any videos like that ever again. If I do it's things are really bad. So, let's hope that, you know. But, uh, anyways, Brian, this is about you. This is your three-year thing, man. Congratulations. Um, I said it's a better place with you in it. So, um, his, his thing is, is Brian has three loves. Comic books, music, and sports. And uh, so, he, he thought for his contest that he would do a uh, show some comic books relating to music or sports or and sports. Well, and thing is, I've got a lot of music comics. I've already showed my Kiss. I've got almost every Kiss comic too. I need like I need like one Psycho Circus comic and one of the, like the floor Kiss 4K. I think is one of my need. Other than that, I've got every Kiss comic. I got the two in the Howard Duck. The Howard Duck. I've got the two Marvel that came out in the seventies. Um, so the ones I need aren't expensive, but just, I've not got my hands on them. It's just one of those things I've not gone out from aggressively enough. Um, so I've showed the Kiss comics, so I've got a little stack that I'll show this. Um, first off, I don't have any sports comics, Brian. I do have the NFL Pro guy that you've got. You already showed that. And I was going to be a smart ass. Actually, I've got a DC sports star thing someplace, and it's in one of these boxes somewhere in here. This is uh, actually my new room. I, uh... I'd take it home to my daughter's toy room because she was never in it. So I ended up taking that and making it the, the main cave, the comic book room. And now she's old enough, she's having little friends come over. And I'm like, you know what, she needs that room back. So 
since my wife doesn't sleep in this bed with me, she stays in there with my daughter. They've got a separate bedroom that they can throw. It, this is my room, period. So I was like, you know what? I'm a I'm a 16 year old kid again. Yeah, probably gonna be mad. Anyway, so now I've got toys everywhere. My comics. This is my bedroom is now the man cave. So there's a bed actually in the man cave. But uh, so yeah, this is uh. Anyways, though, so on the first thing he said, a sports comic, and I was gonna be a smartass because I don't have many sports comics. But yeah, like I said, I couldn't find the, the DC sports stars. It's someplace in all this mess, and it's you know, I have no clue. So I was gonna be a smartass and, and, and get out one of my adult comic books and be like, it's sex. That's a sport, you know. If you're doing it right, and you're you're just as hot and sweaty and sticky at the end of that as you are, you know. There's balls involved, hopefully just two. I mean, whatever you guys are into, right? Not judging here. <laughs> and uh, and thing with sex and sports is a group of cheerleaders is always appreciated. So, sex to sport. Um, so, <laughs> oh, it's gone down real fast. So, but trust me, I need to make a lighthearted video. This, I almost need to re <laughs> redeem myself since yesterday. If my channel ended tomorrow, I don't want that to be the last video. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys. Thank you for all your support. I mean, honestly, I mean, I, the things that were said were so nice. So freaking nice, man. And I, I want to go back and comment on each and everyone's thing. But uh, I, I think it's going to get a little teary if I do. So... It's almost easier to thank all you guys right now. I mean, I could go through and just name everybody, all these people to comment. Just, I mean, just amazing comments. But thank you. And we're back to this. So, anyway, so I don't have sports comics except for uh, the adult stuff. And uh, pom poms. Oh, pom poms. They always look better on your, your bedroom floor than they do. Uh, so, anyways. I've showed the Kiss Psycho Circus comics, but I, I found this, and it's the Kiss Psycho Circus magazine, and it's McFarlane. Tom McFarlane presents Kiss Psycho Circus. I don't remember if this was before the Psycho Circus comic was launched or during. Yeah, this is the premiere issue. So I, I think they were going to do a format, kind of like where they did the comics and they did a magazine. And I, you know, I think only one, one issue. But uh, there's that. I've never showed that. Another thing, Brian, you showed the uh, was it the Rocket comics. You showed a Pantera, and you showed a Motley Crue, maybe? I don't know what the other one was. I've got the Lita Ford one like that, and I do not know what that's at. It must be out in the garage. But I, I run across it recently, and I was actually going to pull it out of the box and bring it up for my comics, but it's such an odd-shaped fucking comic book that I just left it with the magazine that it was with. I think, I think it is in the garage. So I really wish, and I think I've got... Oh, it was in that bag's a whole bunch of guitar picks of people that I've met over the years, so I'd love to go through that and just fucking. I, I know there's some Kiss guitar picks in there too, actually. So, okay, here's a uh, rock and roll comics, Motley Crue. That's number one. I yeah, number, I don't know. I think your thought it was number one. Then you have a number. Then you got number two. This one definitely says number two on it. So one's revolutionary, and they're both revolutionary comics. So. And we've got the Pantera. You've got to love them fucking cowboys from hell. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that band's helped me some, through some tough times, too. If, if, if the song Respect doesn't give you some strength, man, I don't know what does. Uh, Warrant, never a fan of these guys, even though I was a metal guy. To me, this was just punch in the mouth cheesy. Ben and Bon Jovi just couldn't do it. But I'll buy that comic for 50 cents all day. Well, now I got one. I won't, you can't give me another one, so I got it. I'd love to get all these, actually. The rock and roll. There's revolutionary comics, and then I think there's one rock and roll comic or something. And here's Aerosmith. So. Oh, yeah. Love me some Pink Floyd. Oh my god. 
Yeah. <laughs> if I could tell you the stories I've had, uh, the good times I've had with Pink Floyd. And there's a band I love too. It actually took me a while to love this band, The Doors. When I was growing up, I remember it, that, that keyboard sound was just was. I hated it. So it took me getting older and uh, <clears throat> to appreciate the doors. So and then then I went to the acid phase, and the movie came out. My buddy's like, "Yeah, we rented a movie." Oh, I, they invited me to come to their house, and like we rented a couple movies. And I was like, "What'd you get?" And I can't remember what the movie was. One of them was Doors, and I was like, "The Doors." watch a fucking Doors movie? I swear to God. Well, and, and we all popped acid that night. I remember too. Ah, fuck, it's all out there. I don't care. This was the fucking 90s. Um, we were all young once. And by the end of the movie, I loved him. I loved him. So, I don't know if, if it took me sitting on acid being forced to listen to music that made me a fan. But, uh, God, I, I know since then I've seen that movie a hundred times. Um, and another Doors comic. So. Everybody in? Is everybody in? The show's about to start. And the Dead Kennedys. I did not know they even made a Dead Kennedys comic during this time. So this must probably have been towards the end of the series. I don't know. But, so I would love to get... I know there's a new Kids on the Block one. I'll buy that one just, just to complete this run of, of these comics. I think it's cool that it, it's a snapshot in time. So, And here's the ones I love. God, I remember buying these, and I don't know how I missed two of them. And it's actually a mission of mine to get these other two. It's a mission, but I, it's a mission you forget about. It's one of those missions you're out, and you're like, what was I getting ready to do? This is this. So maybe now that I made a video. It's the Beatles Experience, part one of eight. It's got the little shiny gold letters. I love that. God, I love the Beatles. And if any of you Beatle haters out there, don't be commenting my thing that you hate some Beatles. I want to hear that shit. The Beatles Experience Part 2. Part 3. I, I really just... I mean, I love Beatles, but I really just worship John Lennon. I do. I love that guy. Um, and I actually probably even love his solo music better than the Beatles, which says a lot, because I love the Beatles. Uh, here's part four. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, I love these. These are these are actually really good comments. Um, part five. Let it be. And I don't have six and seven. That's two I'm missing. Uh, I'll have one in bad one. And there's part eight. So I think this gets into the, yeah, Paul McCartney, live or dead. It gets from the whole uh, Paul McCartney's dead shit. It goes through the whole conspiracy. So it's really cool. Man. And then finally, the Beatles, Rock Legends, Unauthorized Biography. So, I don't think I've ever showed these, so it's actually, thank you, Brian, for giving me a chance to show them. If I have, it's been a long time. So, it's been a long time. Baby. Okay. Anyway, so, if I did show them, people forgot. So, um, the other thing he wanted us to say was, uh, he talked about where he's from in his little local area. He didn't want you to go too far out of your, your hometown. But he, he, I can't remember who he mentioned, is famous from his area. You want to know if anybody, and if you don't, I don't think it matters. I don't think you can't make a video if you, if you don't have someone famous close. You know, I don't think he's going to care. But he just was interested to know, you know, did you go to high school with somebody that's famous now? Or are you, you know, was there someone famous from your town? Is your town known for a famous person? Um, so... And I've told this before a thousand times, I think. But there's some new people here that may not know. I'm from Mooresville, Indiana. And this is the hometown of John Dillinger. He wasn't born here, but he
but this is where he started his crime spree. So he was a, a young teenage guy who robbed the, the the gas station that sent him to jail where he learned all his tricks of the trade, and that's where his crime spree started. So, yeah, Mooresville, his house is still here, actually. The family house is still here, and it's still being rented out. People live in it, so it's not been turned into a monument, nothing. Because this town is, like, ashamed of him. And it's just like, you know, he did some bad stuff, but acknowledge. Somebody's making money off this shit, and this town could be making money, and they're just too stubborn and stupid. So, and then the other person that's actually from this town is, you guys remember Benji the dog back in the day? Remember Benji had the, uh, his owner had the old fishing hat on and had the big old beard? He was from Indiana, too, or Mooresville. He was from Mooresville. So, the movie's Benji, the dog was from Mooresville, and the trainer lived in Mooresville. And when I was a kid, we would go to the movie theater. You know, it's just like any of you guys. It's probably the same thing with you guys. Saturdays, you get dropped off by your mom and dad at the movie theater. And you go there. It's different how I doubt that happens now. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'd get dropped off at the movies. And it didn't matter what the movie was. We didn't ask, what song the movies are going to take me? It was just, we're going there. All of our classmates are there. You're in grade school. It was, you know, and that girl that you got a crush on sitting there. So, I remember, oh, fine, I this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. So we would go to the movies, and a lot of times Benji and his owner would be there. The trainer, like I said, the trainer's in the movies too, not just a trainer behind the scenes. He trained Benji, and he was the main, he was Benji's sidekick in the movies, but that was the real trainer. I can't remember what his name is. But, uh, so we would, you know, as a kid, we could go, I, I pet Benji. You know, the the original Benji. I don't know if there were, how many would there end up being. Maybe there was only one. I don't really know. So, but it was really cool. So, yeah, my hometown's known for Dillinger. Well, and here's the thing about that too. The stupid fucking town doesn't want to do any kind of monument or any kind of acknowledgement to John Dillinger. Okay, that's fine. I understand you fuck sticks, but they also don't have anything about fucking Benji. But Reagan did come here in, like, 1983, I think. He drove through. He was here in Indianapolis for something. And he came through Mooresville and stopped in Mooresville for some reason. And we've got a monument here about his visit in, in the town. The thing is, is the, the restaurant I woke up for years, Gray's Cafeteria, when Reagan came here, he wanted to go to that restaurant, which was just, you know just a, a little restaurant. I mean, it's a big restaurant, but it's just, you know, it's, it's a hometown restaurant. Famous all over the world, though. And uh, so Reagan comes here, and he wants to go eat at Gray's Cafeteria. And the owners of Gray's, and I know these guys are hardcore Republicans. I know this. And at the time, they wanted them to shut down the restaurant so that Reagan could just come in. And this, this place has always got lines wrapped outside the door. And the, the old guy owners said he can stand in line like everybody else. So they canceled it. They went to Gray's. So they ended up going to like a Ponderosa in town. So <laughs> Reagan came to town and we snubbed him. <laughs> like I said, they were Republicans. So so that's not someone that lived here, but it's a, it was a, a brush with, uh, with history. So, yeah, that, that's it. I uh, hope this is interesting. Um, and like I said, I've got to make amends for <laughs> extra day. Thank you guys for being so awesome and remind me why I've been in this community for so long because the people here are amazing. And Brian, you're one of them, dude. So, um, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I don't think I could completely ever walk away. I may, may stop making videos and may not watch as many, may not have comment as much. And that may change at some point. I may get back into it full. But I don't think I could ever just walk away. It's 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 home, you know. So I love you guys. And uh, thank you. So congrats, Brian. And uh, you guys will make 
a, a video for his, his contest, man. So that guy's awesome, and he's worth a thousand fucking a thousand videos being made for this contest. So. Love you guys. Talk to you later.